Okay, this video is just a quick look at an application I wrote. Uh, I work over in Naples, Florida, and we have a new uh, park in town that has a rather long walk walkway, which is part boardwalk, part road, and um, working for emergency services, it's important for us to know if someone gets hurt or sick or something happens to someone on that path, how we can find them quickly. And now there are markers along the entire path uh, approximately every hundred feet, uh, written in big green, um, big green signs on the light posts and other areas. Uh, there's 97 of them all together. Uh, looking at the map here, you can see that uh, the entire path is color coded. And um, so to get to this map application, uh, there should be a link in the description of this video. Uh, you can go to it on your desktop, laptop, tablet, uh, phone, anything with internet access and a modern browser. Uh, quickly, I want to go over the colors of each part of this path. Um, we have blue. Blue is parts of the path that is paved and accessible uh, to a fire truck, and a fire truck or large vehicle can definitely drive down these paths. So if it's blue, you can drive pretty much any truck on that path. If it's red, it's a boardwalk. So you probably don't want to drive a fire truck on it. Uh, possibly a lighter weight vehicle. I do not know the weight limit on the boardwalk, so look into that before you drive a truck on there. Um, and then the yellow here is paved and could support a large truck, but there's no access to it from a road. Uh, so if there was a brush fire here, a brush truck uh, could possibly come through the woods here and ride on that road but it's yellow to indicate that there's no direct access for a regular fire truck or an ambulance. Uh, so beyond that, the basic point of this is again is to be able to find markers. So let's say someone had a heart attack and they called 911 and the 911 operator asks, uh, what marker yet? Look for the big green sign that has a number on it. There should be one on a light pole nearby or somewhere nearby there should be a number and they say, oh, okay, we're next to marker 50. You open up your phone, you know that you're going to this call as, a, as an emergency responder. You type in the marker number here, you click get marker, and as you can see, it put a marker right there labeling it as 50. Um, you can type in more, so I can do like 25 and say get marker, which is a little higher up here. Uh, so whatever number they give you, and it should be a number between one and 90, Seven. It's either 197 or 198. Uh, it's 97 or 98 of them. Uh, so we can say 12, get marker, there's 12. And we should be able to determine uh, then, out of right now there's currently three entrances, uh, one down here, one on the west here, and one on the north side, uh, which entrance we should take and whether we can get to them directly with a truck or if we're going to have to go on foot by some. Uh, so example, this 25, we would park in the parking lot here and walk to them. But if they're at this 12, we could drive the truck down here to where that boardwalk connects to this uh, drivable path and we can then get to the patient on foot from there. Or we may decide if we're coming from the west side to go to the parking lot on the west side here. All depending on whether you're coming from the, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the, if you're coming from the northeast you probably would take this path if you're coming from the west side here you're probably going to go to this parking lot and if you're down at the south side here you're probably going to want to go around to one of the other entrances so it's just a, a map to quickly figure out where somebody is on this boardwalk which is a rather long boardwalk and at any point you can click clear and clear out all the markers and then you know start adding them back in as you need them uh, so again if they say they're at marker 60, you say get marker, marker 60 is down here. And if you're already walking or driving on the trail, you can go, okay, if you're unaware of where you are, you can go, oh, I'm at you know, marker 30. You can say get marker and see 30 is at the entrance here, so you're not even on a boardwalk yet. But uh, you can figure out where you are and where other people are as well. Uh, and again, clear this. Also, I want to point out, I'll have this in the link in the description of this video as well, but I also have a simple little API here. You can grab the JSON for all the different markers, the GPS location for every single marker. So if you want to write your own application, go ahead and pull this JSON file down and do what you like with it. I walked with my phone and marked 
the GPS for every one of these markers, so they should be fairly accurate within a couple of feet. So feel free to, to use that if you want to write your own application. And also feel free to look at the code for this. It is under a GPL license, so feel free to modify and share that. And again, uh, the links to both those, uh, the JSON file and the map itself should be in the description of this video. And I just thank you for taking the time to watch this. Have a great day.